Welcome back to Bordeaux Life. Today we're getting on with some more electrics and some more plasterboard stud work. Let's get going, it's got a lot to do. Exciting electricity, Anna. I, I almost fell asleep. I need your help. Ed, what was wrong with that joke, Anna? Ed made a funny joke, very funny, but I'm not, you can hear me, guys, I'm very nasal. I managed to get Emma's cold, but I think Ed should show us the progress and how much he's advanced in the bedrooms with Louis. Turned it back on me, have not she? I right, did. We'll go upstairs because no, we've got some decisions to make up there. So we'll go up and then uh, get a few decisions made and then get on with work. Come I'll on. give you a few minutes, guys, and I'll come. <laughs> come. <in. So you can see we've got the doors on, pretty much the same as putting the rails up, so there's not much interest there. Let's go in this bedroom first, Anna, because it's ready with the plasterboard and I need your decision on a few things. Come on. Oh. Okay, so I want to know where you think somebody might contemplate putting a bed. Oh. If I was going to say that wall, that wall, you'd say that wall, wouldn't you? 
correct. Okay, and it and possibly here, yeah? Maybe, yeah. Okay, so... Actually, maybe there, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to mark up, Louis, some holes for you to cut. Um, we're can, can we measure the length of this wall, please, Louis? Are we good? Yep. Three metres, three metres, okay. Say so the bed and bedside ta uh, bed is about, what, two metres wide? No. Maximum. Uh, one Maximum. 40, no? Yeah, so one if we put... 160. 160, minus 160. Okay, so we put, the, we put the plugs at two metres apart, so that leaves us 50 centimetres either side. Yeah. So that's the first plug. The second plug is going to land right where we have no plasterboard. <laughs> so this is your imaginary second plug. Really. I, I blame the workers. Yeah. So we're going to um, we're going to have to chase into this wall for two more plugs in that wall. Uh, so, but the problem is we've got the plasterboard in the way now. So when we did the joints in the whole build, I knew I'd have to go back and chase in through. We're going to chase through the cracks, obviously lower down where the plasterboard is. We'll chase a hole and then cut a hole into a stone. I know that's going to annoy, annoy me, annoy you a lot, but yeah. yeah. Okay, in this room, I was thinking to put the aircon on this wall. Okay because it's easiest to get my pipes back over to above the stairs. Okay. Because that's where the, all the pipes are going. Okay, I think we're... So again, halfway and then, yeah, halfway between the beam and the wall this time. Yeah, not too high, but not too low. Because the ceilings are very high here. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, if you put it high, then you have to have high temperature in, in uh, in winter to get it warm lower down in the room, if that makes sense. It does. And You're then, looking at me strangely there. Well, yeah, yeah, if it, the, and then cold, very high cold temperatures get it cold in summer though. Yeah, because it can be too hot. Uh, it can be too cold in summer if you've got the air con at 16, it means it's 16 up top and what, 13 down below, you catch a cold. Okay, uh, 290 this time, 290. 145. So we're going to say at about, because basically all the cables come in bottom left hand side, I think. I did check with my aircon guy and he's come back to me. Let's see. Oh, right hand side. So uh, one meter from this wall. So basically you, you put your aircon block on and all the pipes. So there's the two gas pipes, the um, condensation pipe for when you're condensing so in summer you get water in the aircon units condensing and electricity so everything's going to come to about this point here and the aircon unit's going to go like that if that makes sense okay, yeah. okay so we're going to do a hole about a hundred so one meter so three foot now where do you want this hole on the wall Anna do you think somewhere like there yeah is that does. is that about right height for you yeah, because it's high enough, but also low enough. So I think that's pretty good. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do the hole just underneath this line. And what that'll do is that'll hide that line because the aircon unit will hide quite a bit of that line and it's easier to, um, to do the joints then. Okay, Louis. So, see your metal and flesh content. So I'm putting an arrow for Louis and he's going to cut it like there. Bang on one meter, yeah? That's for aircon. So we have one, two, three, four plugs in this room. We're good? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yes, I think Move on perfect. to the next. No, no, I know we're just a little bit busy in this bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is going to be a bit harder still, but we're going to figure it out. Where do you think you're going to want the bed in here? Or where would somebody logically put the bed in here? So they're not going to be on that wall behind you, are they? Because that's going to block your passage to the bathroom. Bathroom, yeah. But we might pop a plug over there. Yeah, good idea. 
Um, okay, I'm thinking maybe, well, if you've got the door open, it doesn't leave you much space for your bed. So you've got two meters 30. We need 80 centimeters on one side. So you're already at 150. So really this wall's not gonna be a good place for a bed. There. That leaves only this wall, which means we're gonna have to chase in again. And we've got all these sh cut off cuts. So there we go, we've got, um, we've got to do that at a later date. Mm -hmm. But we'll put a plug along here and a plug over there underneath the light switch. What do you reckon? Yeah, good idea. But Ed, nobody even talked to you too about feng shui stuff. Like the bed that never have to be on the way of the door. So if you put the, the bed here, it's the door and the energy of the house go directly in the bed so you cannot sleep well. So your bed, you have to go here or here, never on the way of the door. What's Feng Shui? If you guys know what is it, have some comment. <laughs> yeah, no, good, 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 uh, good input there, Louis. I don't know about Feng Shui, but Louis knows quite well about Feng Shui. I don't know if it helps, but I think it's not a good, a bad idea. Like, if you go inside the room, was that Feng Shui? <laughs> was that kind of Feng Shui? This is very Feng Shui because you want to put the bed here. No, I think it's quite logic. Yeah. Normally, when you go in the room, there is a small space, like in the uh, passion project where I sleep. There is, I go just, inside the room. Just and be the careful. Bed is over there. Just be careful. Don't be telling people where you sleep, Louis, because <laughs> you might get stalked. <laughs> Maybe if you guys comment and like a lot, we can <laughs> put it on the comment, the address. <laughs> so, the outcome where does Louis like the bed? I will put it here. When you're sleeping, Got the, the window. window, yeah, the light is in, no on the way of the door. You stand up, you go in the bathroom, take a big <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, I'm yeah, so glad. Logic. I'm so glad Louis came for this part of the video because it was due to be just us like chatting about Louis stuff. Does. Louis's taken over with Feng Shui, it's great. Yeah. Uh, no, good. Well, it's, it's, it's good. It's a team decision. It's, yes, team. I'm, no, I'm now part of the team. Of course so you are. I, I just give advice. There's a, there is one thing. There's no Louis in team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. That's great. We know where we're going with the plugs in here. The air con's going on this imaginary wall here. We are going to get on with that in a minute. And um, we're going to do it slightly different just because of a, a, a problem we've got here. But we'll talk about that in a minute when we get it up. And you can maybe... Get us getting a bit of that up as well, Anna. Let's move on to the next room. Vas-y, plus haut, pardon. Un peu plus haut, comme ça, le... Ouais. OK. In English, Ed. Yeah, right, Louis. Ooh. There isn't really much of a choice for this bedroom, is there? No, but I like it. The door's going where Louis is, and which, <laughs> which way is it opening, Anna, left or right? Uh, left, left. <laughs> left, yeah. left with your wedding ring on, yeah? Left. Well, well, that's not the wedding, this is the engagement ring. Okay, well, your engagement, oh, jeez. Because everyone said in the comments, to help you remember where your wedding ring is, but you've got an engagement ring on one hand and your wedding ring on the other, so that just well, ruins left, that one. Left, left, I know, I know. But left, look. Well, I can left. do left with my right hand. No, well. you can't. That's not an L. Yeah, well, it is the other way. That's not the other way. <laughs> okay, so left hand opening. Door's going to come to about here. If the bed's two meters long, uh -huh. we've still got clearance on the bed. So we're going to have a bit of space on this side, bed, and a bit of space on that side. So again, plugs are going to have to go on this wall, Louis. Yep. You're going to have to do some chasing in. You might actually be able to just move a little bit around in a minute and get going on that chasing in for the plugs, just along the joints, and then up to a plug at 30, yeah? Okay. And we're gonna have a bed of, we'll say, a, a distance between the two plugs of two meters. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Put in the bed on the stone wall. Bed's going on the stone wall, there's no other choice, really. The uh, choice. Can't get it near the window, can't get it to, the door would open too much on that wall, it'd, it'd be. 
Oh. And the feng, the feng shui is so off if you have no it there. feng shui, you don't understand. Oh, God. Do we have not going in the bed. It's not how, feng how, shui. Do, oh. how do we put up with having Anna? We're going huh? to lose all the, oh. the followers <laughs> of our feng shui. Yeah. No. <laughs> there is, I'm going to throw you a thingy here. Come on, then. Uh, a spanner in the works. But you, I mean, I suppose you could possibly have the bed here, but it's right for another window. It wouldn't work. It has to be there, the bed. Yeah, and when uh, anybody is closing the door, if you have the bed here, I don't know. Maybe you will yeah. hear it. You hear a bang. Yeah. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Two bangs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, right. I suggest we get some, I, I get some of those montants in. With Louis. You get some montants with Louis, yes. And no, and Louis going no, to get chasing. He's going to get chasing in the stone. Okay. Okay. Who's Robbie Comsa? So we've got one plug there, then we're going to have maximum. You don't forget, you can get 140 anyway, yeah. but then the plug can go over here, yeah? yeah. It's quite a bit it's a bit You are too petit Qu'est-ce qu'il y a
get back, get on track, come on, grab this thing. Double down, roll the dice, take off now, don't think twice, hey, don't you want to play? Say, hey. Wow, Louis, it's the first time you've had to take a jumper off in a while. <laughs> yeah, coming back in the spring. I, I was I was talking more about the oh he's not listening. I was talking more about the work, Louis. Yeah. It's been going a bit slow, hasn't it? No, I'm okay. Like five minutes to do half of the way. <laughs> you know why I'm saying that? Just so I can get loads of comments, yeah? yeah. Because everyone's going to say, oh, he's so nasty to Louis. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And hopefully it'll get a good chain of comments going, yeah? Exactly. Okay, so that's how you do it, yeah? Yes.
So, just been getting on with a bit of cables, you just saw Louis kind of struggling getting that material out because it's quite uh, kind of hard in comparison to the old joint that was there. But he's getting there slowly but surely. Um, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, basically, these are very tall, so we've gone for wider, um, wider rails here and, and, and uh, stud work as such. And normally, like I said before, it's every 60 and every 120. So you've got a double here. Normally you have a double in the middle uh, for the 60, so the middle of the plasterboard. But what I've done is I've, I've spread them out a bit every 40 because of one really important reason. And it's because, I don't know whether people have seen them on YouTube videos, people playing around near plasterboard and bang, they go through the plasterboard. But I think that was maybe done on purpose, Ed. No, it's when people are drunk generally. But... Louis confirms it's what happens when they're drunk, but not in the, <coughs> hey, not in the passion project. Well, we'll see. Maybe this summer big party in the passion project. <laughs> Louis hosting. Oh no. Uh, so basically, I was worried about what happens if somebody does that here and they fall straight through. So, what I thought was, kids can't generally do it as well as adults, but, you got to have a bit of force and a bit of weight behind you. But an adult, maybe get the head... Don't break everything. I am breaking everything. I've not screwed it up up top yet. Uh, but an adult, I'm not going to touch that because it'll fall on me. An adult can maybe get the head through, but they won't fall all the way through. They'll be stopped by these because they're every 40. And they'll be nice and strong because I'll have plasterboard on either side, even if it breaks on one side. So the idea is that these are kind of like a safety barrier so that people can't fall and hurt themselves in in the stairwell so yeah so we got on quite well we've got we've got to really get on get cracking we're getting this um all of the plasterboard on one side because it's really holding me up like i've got a i've got a, um, a light switch here and i need to put my back box on i can't do it because i've not got one side on that's why i try to get this in as quick as possible um this we just need to finish off some all on one side so that we can just finish off and then we can put the other side on. Uh, it's getting late. Louis is going to stick around and just finish off his cable hole. Um, we're going to get a diamond uh, hole cutter uh, for the back boxes, and then we'll stick the back boxes in with uh, resin. Um, that's how we do it here. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, time's run out on us today because we've got to go pick the kids up, Anna. I know. On that note, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. What, what else is the Louis? Ring the bell. That's his favourite, isn't it? <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. See, See you all, all soon. Time.